Hello all my Kinvians and welcome to a special episode of Discovering Steven Universe, I guess? Or a Theorizing Steven Universe. Um, an outdated theorize. I don't know how, what I'm going to call this exactly. But basically, uh, the purpose of this video is for me to get out my personal theories as to what happened to Pink Diamond. And I have three overall theories of which I had some information written down, however, I apparently saved over the file or something like that because I can no longer find <laughs> all the information I wrote down. So I wrote down basically the names of the three theories that I have and I will do my absolute best to rem remain consistent as far as what I am trying to say in regard to each of these theories. So, start with number one, the most basic possible theory you could come up with is Rose did it. It was Rose who shattered Pink Diamond. I mean, it's what most people believe. It's what Garnet believes. It's, it's what everyone has said up to the point that, uh, well, I'm forgetting their name now, but the, uh, <laughs> the defendant on Homeworld for Steven, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to drive me crazy that I can't remember their gym name now, but uh, until they pointed out what they had to say was that it's not feasible that Rose could have done it. However, I will say before I move on to my other uh, uh, my other theories, my real theories here, I will say one thing. Um, and a lot of this boils down to a personal belief that will play into the other theories here that our pearl was Pink Diamond's pearl. Now, why I think that it is feasible that Rose did it, she's the one that shattered Pink Diamond, is that through uh, perhaps misuse or mistreatment by Pink Diamond, it's clear that Pink Diamond is uh, a very childish uh, character, at least based on what I experienced in Jungle Moon. Uh, perhaps through the treatment of there, she came to find uh, uh, <laughs> Rose Quartz to be a potential ally, so she sort of stepped aside or out of the way when Rose decided to make her move. And it's already been established that all gems can change their form. Like, obviously, Amethyst is the one who does it most often, but all gems can change their form. So, when the real Pearl stepped aside, what if Rose took on the form of Pearl, got close enough to Pink Diamond, and when the moment was right, she shattered her? Now, that doesn't necessarily resolve the question of, well, how could she have done it with her sword, which is pointed out many times that she did it with her sword. And that sword is unable to shatter any gems. It's only able to uh, basically cause them to uh, go back into their gem form. So that doesn't answer that completely. Uh, it doesn't say that that sword was her only weapon. I don't think it's ever been established that like any gem has only like one weapon. They may have their preferred weapon, but it's still feasible that Rose could have done it. Now, moving on from there, my second theory, and this, I feel like this is the one that has the strongest evidence to go along with it, at least what has existed so far in the show. 
that I've experienced. Um, and it is that it was not Rose, but Pearl who shattered Pink Diamond. Now, again, this plays into my theory that our Pearl was Pink Diamond's Pearl. And because of that, she would be close enough to Pink Diamond pretty much at all times, or most of the time, if not at all times, and would be the one with the most opportunity to be able to do so. Now, I mean, that brings, in, brings up a lot of questions, uh, one of which uh, would be, the weapon is like you know it's a it's always referred to as a sword it's the sword i can't remember if ruby or I, I mean eyeball specifically pointed out like you know the the big pink sword that belonged to rose quartz that it was used i don't know if that was specified but uh, pearl's weapons for the most part, they seem to be spears, but at the same time, her repertoire also seems to include a variety of swords, or at least swords of particular kinds. So, as far as the weapon being used, uh, while it may not, like, you know, over all that time, it may not be possible for someone that saw the event happen to remember the exact weapon, but they can see that it was a sword. So again, that's uh, that's one element of it. Um, it also brings into question, Bismuth referred to the breaking point as being strong enough to shatter any gem, any gem, including diamonds. And... I mean, it, it, it can only be assumed that a diamond is going to be very hard to crack, let alone shatter. So that would infer that, that the weapon and Pearl herself would have to be able to put forth enough power, enough force into that weapon to be able to shatter Pink Diamond's gem. Now, while yes, the breaking point was at the time, like the weapon that was meant to just be able to destroy any diamond, any diamond whatsoever. Um, but we know from that story that Pearl never knew about it. Uh, Ameth well, obviously Amethyst never knew about it. Garnet never knew about it. And it was something that Rose actually ended up bubbling bismuth over to make sure that was kept a secret. So, if the breaking point wasn't used, going back to Pearl's weapons, they are always very pointed. It's like, you know, everything about her character is very sharp and to the point, including her nose. It's, it's a very big characteristic of hers. So, what if, through her training, Pearl was able to find a way to find, like, the weakness of a gem? Like, specifically, Pink Diamond's gem. Like, she spends so much time around her, she would know just the perfect way to go about it. Who's to say that she wouldn't have been able to figure out, like, just how much force what kind of weapon in her vast array of weapons that she would need to use in order to shatter that diamond. And then that also brings us to the idea that everyone claims they saw Rose Quartz do it. And this is actually where it gets a bit, um, things get a little bit heavier as far as the information that we've actually been presented in, less on me speculating. But, as I mentioned before, gems are able to take on different forms. It's just part of what they do. And as far as the crystal gems go, we have seen Steven change forms in various ways. We've seen Amethyst change forms <clears throat> fairly regularly, including into a helicopter. <laughs> 
uh, we have seen Garnet change forms. I mean, not only, you know, splitting back into Ruby and Sapphire, but she actually changed into uh, Steven size, well, well, basically a Steven size and shaped version of herself for, uh, I think it was a season one episode of when they were playing Steven Tag. And they were trying to get Pearl to go along with it, but she refused. And to my knowledge, she has never actually changed form through the course of the show, not that we have seen. I mean, not including obviously when uh, they were all in the ship and, like, you know, Stephen had it going too fast accidentally and their forms were outside of the ship, or when she got stabbed by the hologram and, you know, she poofed at that point. It's like, I'm not including that kind of thing. But actually changing form into just a different form entirely. And from what I can recall, from looking back on it, it's, it's not even that Pearl... It's not that she was afraid or like had any real misgivings about changing her form. It was just something she outright refused to do. It, it, like she didn't really have any reasons. She just didn't want to do it. And that makes me wonder if there's a reason why. Because of Pearl's closeness to Rose Quartz, how much she trusted her, how much she would always do for her. Back in um, uh, the whatever the episode was where we were told the story of Ruby and Sapphire, how they came to know each other. I mean, Pearl was shown as being just a pure, straight-up badass. She she was kind of terrifying in how quickly she just jumped from gym to gym, just poofing them over and over. And I mean, Rose Quartz was definitely in there too, but it's, I don't know, I may be wrong, but it seems like Pearl was particularly really into it like she was uh, sh uh, she was the assassin for Rose Quartz basically and it's because of that feeling I get from that is that because of Pearl's possible closeness to Pink Diamond And again, I have to speculate on how much interaction she might have had with Rose Quartz, but either she came to fall in love with Rose Quartz uh, over time, or simply because of how perhaps Pink Diamond was treating her, she decided to make the call herself. It wasn't something that that Rose Quartz ordered. It wasn't something that she wanted. It's Pearl didn't join forces with <laughs> didn't join forces with the Crystal Gems, more specifically Rose Quartz, until after she shattered Pink Diamond. And in doing so, she changed form the one time that she knew she could. The one time that she knew it would count. Because perhaps changing form is something that she sees as being beneath her. Because she's a pearl after all. So the one time she did it. She did it because she had found Pink Diamond's weak point. She had figured out exactly the weapon, exactly how much force would be needed to apply to Pink Diamond's gem to shatter her. And so, when the time came, 
Pearl was just doing her thing. Pink was just doing her thing. And all of a sudden, like the Pearl just kind of disappears and all of a sudden Rose, uh, Rose Quartz appears and strikes Pink Diamond down with her sword. And who knows, if, if Pearl can change her own form, who's to say she couldn't also change the form of her own weapon to look like Rose Quartz's sword? And that's something I thought of just off the top of my head just now. And a lot of this I know is going to sound ridiculous and stupid and has probably been proven false at this point. But again, this is just speculation on my part based on what I have seen and experienced so far. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that could possibly... There's another aspect here that it doesn't play entirely into this theory, possibly into my third theory, but it has to do with the seeming reluctance or inability of Pearl to be able to talk about the diamonds to a certain degree, or more specifically perhaps about Pink Diamond and what happened to her, especially in Jimcation, because when Pearl went out to try to talk to Steven before it was revealed that, you know, or before Steven revealed that the problem was, in fact, you know, that he couldn't talk to Connie, that him and Connie were having issues. But as she was trying to talk about things, it was like, not even like she was kind of like, you know, fighting with herself, but all of a sudden, like her hands would go and cover her mouth. So, is it... If she is the one that shattered Pink Diamond, is it possible that in doing so, she might have, I don't know, damaged or even like the power that was needed to do that? Like somehow it might have almost reprogrammed her to a degree that Either she doesn't remember it, and there's something keeping her from remembering it, or is... <sighs> uh, I don't know, I think I'm getting ahead, ahead of myself here. But literally, it's like, you know, my theorizing is evolving as I'm talking here. Ugh. But yeah, um, before I go up to go too far off the rails here and make even less sense, I'm, I'm going to leave that there. Is that so? Theory number two is that Pearl is the one that shattered Pink Diamond. I don't know whether it might have been something ordered by Rose Quartz or something that Pearl did on her own, but. I feel that it's more likely that it was something that Pearl did of, of her own accord, which again could possibly explain just like the subconscious, like, you know, trying to block speaking anything about what occurred, whether it's just like, you know, it, it, something about her was damaged and that's like just part of her gym trying to hold back the pain of that memory or, or something like that. I don't know. But that brings me to my third and final theory. And again, I feel like the second one is the strongest of those. I really do wish I have all the stuff that I had written down, but whatever happened to that document, I apologize. Uh, it may not have sounded as strong as I intended it to be, but I do feel it's the strongest of the three theories. The third here is based very, very much on my speculation, almost entirely. But it came about because of what we experienced in Jungle Moon. 
And my theory is this. Pink Diamond was never shattered. She was never shattered at all. And I'm getting ahead of myself here, but just to lay out, my, hopefully give you an idea of where I'm going with my thought process, Pink Diamond was never shattered because Pink Diamond is Rose Quartz and therefore is Steven. Now, I'm going to do my best to gather all my thoughts around that without repeating myself too much in regard to the other information I've talked about. But, uh, but uh, discounting Jungle Moon for the time being, as far as Pearl's quirks, Pearl's being unable to talk about those things, and how it could be Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Again, this is a matter of me sort of uh, my theorizing evolving as I'm thinking about it. Okay, so this third one kind of ties in both of the first ones into one. Uh, it, it, Rose did it because it was Rose's plan, aka it was Pink Diamond's plan for this to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, and it was Pearl who shattered Pink Diamond, but uh, all of this transpired because, yes, Pearl is and was and continues to be Pink's Pearl. That is shown in her just absolute dedication, her absolute love for Rose Quartz, also Pink Diamond, most likely, again, speculation, and her dedication to st staying with Steven, just like, you know, trying to get Rose back when she saw the gem, her gem inside of Steven's belly, it it doesn't excuse her what the actions of what she almost did in that episode, but it's like she had been so close to this person, this being, for so long through multiple forms in which she was not only Pink Diamond's Pearl, but then became Rose's Pearl. A free Pearl, yes, but still Rose's Pearl. And it... It explains how it was all able to transpire because all I can assume as to why Pink would change her mind is because of who Rose is told to be. Someone who loves the earth, loves everything about the planet, and doesn't want the, to hurt the planet. The diamond's purpose in going there is to colonize and basically hollow out the earth which but kills almost everything and basically make it a base, make it a stronghold for gems everywhere, regardless of what happens to the organic beings. So Pink Diamond has a change of heart. And so she makes this plan to get rid of her past life. And Pearl is so dedicated to her diamond, her rose, that she will do anything for her. So, Rose has its stage to where there are enough witnesses to see it happen, including uh, Eyeball, and, and I don't remember if there were any others mentioned as to who actually saw it, but, but for sure Eyeball. And... Hmm. 
again, I apologize for the pauses here. It's just like my, my brain is going like 100 miles an hour right now, and I'm still sick. So this two things working against each other right now. Um, but Pink Diamond is just being Pink Diamond. But she sets up the right uh, place for it to happen, the right time for it to happen, and Pearl's just right there. So Pearl changes into Rose Quartz and has her sword because Rose Quartz, AKA Pink Diamond, is right there. So the sword is obviously readily available. Although I guess it would be available through the pearl on her forehead, anyway. But she changes into Rose Quartz and poofs Pink Diamond. I don't know how they might, like it might have been like the witnesses saw it from far enough away that Maybe they couldn't tell that she had only been poofed. I don't know. Maybe they, uh, maybe there were other shattered gems of a similar color that they used to make it look like, excuse me, it was her shattered gem. And then after that, Rose, well, no, Rose Pink Diamond when she reformed from being poofed she basically I, I don't know how it would work exactly either decides to completely change uh, her form or or something but she gives up her form of pink diamond. So that that image no longer exists and she permanently becomes Rose Quartz. And again, I know it's it's wild speculation, but a lot of things feel like they tie into it. Um a lot of that would definitely uh, seem to account for why why Pearl's subconscious is working against her. It might have been something that, like she, if it was sort of a reprogramming or a subconscious deal, not necessarily damage to her gym, but it was something that was either instructed by Rose or something that Pearl programmed into herself. Um, that made it so that, that that's a secret that she could never tell. Because, you know, if Pearl were to get captured by Homeworld, I mean, who's to say she wouldn't get tortured to, in some form and made to tell what happened to Pink Diamond. And, you know, she would end up telling the truth there. So there has to be a safeguard put in place so she couldn't reveal that in such a case. But that kind of backfires in the present day, or maybe not even backfires, maybe it's continuing its intended uh, purpose in that she's not able to tell Stephen or anyone else about these things. Uh, and even though she wants to, it's like there's something she wants to say, there's something on the tip of her tongue, but something in her subconscious or whatever gems have keeps fighting against her and keeps stopping her. <laughs> And it, it, it makes sense that she would want, well, not necessarily even Pearl, but why Rose slash Pink Diamond, I'm just going to continue, I, I, it's, it's speculation, I'm going to continue to call her Rose, um, why Rose would want that to be kept secret, because Stephen would be a brand new being, something they would have no idea about. And he was going, he was going to slash has had enough baggage to have to deal with in his life to not have to be concerned with the memories or the knowledge of also being a diamond. I don't know. I don't know. But for 
some reason, the more I thought about that, like literally just as I've been recording this and thinking about these three theories that I wrote down, <coughs> sorry, out of all three, despite the third one being the most speculative on my part, ooh, just got some backsplash on my glasses. <laughs> I honestly feel like I have a strong feeling about that one. I'm. Uh, is there any other point? Oh, okay, of course. Okay, of course. There were some other points that I wanted to touch on too. Now, whenever Stephen has had these dreams and he's seen through the eyes of other uh, gems, specifically the diamonds, uh. The one was way back when he saw through the eyes of Blue Diamond, when she was on the planet Earth looking at Pink's palanquin. Or visiting her palanquin. And uh, he was having the effects of the tears. Now, to the... While, yes, he has kind of taken over the minds of other people, I don't recall that being something that he's ever done specifically with gems and he didn't even really take over the mind of blue he just saw through her eyes which was a similar case here with pink diamond um it could because it went from stevani uh or stevani's personality and all of a sudden pink diamond this very childish very bratty personality took over but it was still through I mean, we were watching them, but it's like it's still through the eyes of Pink Diamond. And it wasn't just like, you know, a fleeting glimpse, like what would happen with Blue Diamond. Like, this was a full-on memory. This was a full-on dream. And... Even, again, even when Steven was dreaming and he was seeing through the eyes of Blue, he wasn't able to control anything. I don't think. I don't think. I could be wrong there. But I don't remember him being able to actually control anything. Or seemingly having any bodily authority. Or, like, there, there was no... Uh, there was seemingly no part of him that was also moving or, you know, like the fist that forms at the end before Pink punches the glass. So, again, speculation. What if that one, that memory was so strong because it was one of Stevens slash Rose Quartz slash Pink Diamonds locked away, sealed away memories that could only be sort of brought back about by being back in that exact location. And the fact that, like, if, if it was just Steven there, or if, if Steven and Connie had been split, if they were not Stevani, who's to say that maybe that wouldn't have occurred? Who's to say that he might not have had that dream? But the fact that Stevani is something much more, much more, an experience, if you will, that because of that, it was able to unlock that repressed memory because of the location that they were in. And again, it's just like, it, when Steven was seeing through Blue's eyes, it's like, maybe it was like sort of like to glance around a little bit, but that could have very easily just been Blue looking around at the same time. But this time, when we're seeing through Pink's eyes, we see Stevani's fist form, we see Pink's fist form, and we see that face. We see her face in the reflection, and there's the pink puffed hair. Now, uh, I know that there are a lot of different uh, gyms out there. They all have two degrees, sometimes similar, sometimes very different uh, bodily structure, hairstyles, and what so 
what have you, there wasn't anything that really stands out that make that <laughs> that made Pink Diamond look like Rose Quartz to me, except for the hair. It was much shorter, but it. What's the right way to put this? While Rose's hair is always, it's very long, it's very luxurious, it's beautiful. Like, her entire self encompasses a rose, so to speak. But for Pink Diamond, again, just in that moment, her hair looks like... I don't know the I don't know the right words to describe it, but basically her hair has the form of a tattered rose in my mind. Again, again complete speculation, but and I'm reaching at straws here. But uh, all of a sudden, I'm getting really excited about this theory that honestly I was going to say like about five words on. <laughs> so yeah. This video is going to be available to my patrons uh, up until whatever time I find out the truth of these. Those of you watching, um, I don't know if anything I've said here is going to make you laugh because of how ridiculous it is. I don't know if you're face palming because of how ridiculous it is. Uh, some of the stuff I'm saying here may make sense. Even if you do know the truth, and you're just like, you know, they maybe could have gone that direction with it. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe they just, maybe it is just that Rose did it. <laughs> Whatever the outcome, I'm very excited to find out the results. And from everything I've heard, the truth has come out at this point. And I don't have that many episodes left to go before I find out the truth. So... To those of you, the patrons that are watching this right now, to, well, or really anyone that asks about this particular video, um, I might share it with you. The prime thing is I'm trying to keep out the spoiler trolls, really, just to try and avoid that whole situation, because, I, I you know, th this is something, for the most part with spoilers, I'm okay with finding out what happens, like, you know, out of context. But for some reason, this one in particular is really important to me. So I, I don't want to risk someone just coming in and being like, <laughs> Yeah, exactly like that. And uh, basically ruining the surprise for me. So uh, those of you that are watching before I do find out the truth, I am very much looking forward to hearing your thoughts on what I've had to say in the comments down below. Again, please do try to keep it uh, spoiler free. I'd love to again love to hear your thoughts on what I've had to say, but let's let's do just try and keep it spoiler free until I reach that point because especially after all my ranting here, <laughs> all my speculating here, <laughs> I'm very much excited to see what the truth is and to find out what actually happened to Pink Diamond one way or another <laughs> so until next time everyone i am papa ken and uh let's find out whether or not my theories are right probably not <laughs>